All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna be taking off this front bumper here um, to paint this front bash bar. As you can see, it's kind of disgusting looking. Um, as you can see from here too, we're just gonna spray paint it black. Uh, but to get to that, we gotta take off the front bumper, uh, which includes this hardware here. Uh, we have bolt there, bolt there, push pin, a bolt, a push pin, a bolt, and another bolt that holds this little piece together. And then on the side of the car here, underneath, we have two bolts. One here, kind of hard to see, another one back there that holds this front bumper together. And then we have two push pins like right here on both sides. So we'll go ahead and um, take off the push pins, those ones that we were just talking about up top here. And there shouldn't be nothing underneath holding it on. But if there is, then we'll just go ahead and lift it up a little bit probably uh, to get those out. But we'll go and go ahead and grab this front bumper and get it off the car. And here's the front bumper. Um, pretty easy to take off. And you can see, since it's the Rocket Bunny kit, it is all uh, handmade fiberglass. They already put holes in here too for the front lip that I will get eventually for the car. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, we are gonna put those side skirt, uh, side uh, canards on soon here. We're going to a big 86 meet here next Sunday, so we gotta get this thing cleaned up some. Obviously, look at that engine bay; it's it's filthy, man. Really filthy. Really need to get in here and just clean her all up. Some good detail and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take this off, and we're gonna start spray painting it black. Four bolts here, over there, and up top here is two. Up top there. Um go from there hey guys got the bash bar off um i had to take off two bolts from that uh the win uh the windshield wiper fluid there i had to disconnect that guys to get the four bolts out and there was also four push pins up here on this little piece here uh, i had to remove to get the the bash bar out uh the bash bar is actually at the garage right now we're gonna go ahead and go back there and show you it Right, guys there's the bash bar we cleaned it up already and um what we did was is we used some sandpaper i have different types of sandpaper and different uh well just all kind of different sandpaper here we got 800 600 400 320 2000 1500 uh 320 um what i did was i used 600 i believe on there we don't want to get too deep of a scratch but we want something to stick um we have the spray paint somewhere in here there it is um uh fast dry a long lasting finish indoor and out black um pretty sure this has like a clear cut uh clear already like mixed in the can here it's like a gloss so you gotta give that a good shake and then we're gonna move this away from the garage and we're just gonna give it a couple coats nice and black so therefore it looks makes the car look <laughs> better we're gonna go ahead and get this done. All right, guys, we sprayed it once. That's what she looks like. Not too bad, honestly. Gets the job done. That's all that matters. Um, this is the first coat. We're gonna spray a couple coats down. Maybe two or three coats to make it look good. But there's our first coat, and we'll be back after we're done the third coat. All right, guys. This is the next day we put the front bumper back on and the bash bar is black and it looks really good. A lot better than what it was. Um, it was like a silver color. You guys know what it looks like before. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw these canards on that I have for the Marco Bunny V3 kit, which are right here. I got these a little while back, but I've been wanting to do it. But um, they're fiberglass for the V3 kit. I'm gonna get some wrap, probably wrap them eventually. Um, they go right here on both sides um for example i'll grab one real quick Let's see this is the one i need yeah. to kind of sit just like just like something like this something like this for the time being i'm going to put some holes down here in this bottom piece here they'll connect it underneath as well um but yeah, we gotta 
turn the wheel, make sure you know we're not gonna hit it or anything on that corner down there. All right guys, we have the one side on. Um, we had a bunch of hardware from Downstar and then a bunch of uh, hardware that I had just laying in the shed. Um, we're gonna order actually more Downstar hardware for these two bolts. Um, we also did two bolts underneath to hold this bad boy in place. So that's real nice. Um, now we just gotta go on the other side and do the same thing. All right guys, we have both sides on. Um, my drill actually just died. Um, so we're waiting to put two bolts in underneath here. But for the majority of this, that's not going anywhere as you can see guys. Um, we still need to bolt two down there in the middle. Well underneath here, we're gonna do two holes. Um, and then we're done. Um, I got some extra bolts for sure. Um, but yeah, those are it. We're gonna eventually do some side skirts too. Really uh, do something nice here. For, uh, front lip here eventually. And then uh, rear canards would be kind of cool too. Um, also going to do some mesh right here. Uh, but we got the, we have to make tabs for that. Because there's no tabs back there. Also, we want to redo this front bumper again eventually. Um, painting it wise. Because it's a horrible mess, honestly. But canards are on. I'm going to go ahead and drop the car and see what it looks like when it's aired out and all. Alright guys, this is the next day we had the car in the driveway over there, but we moved it back here and obviously we did not air out like we were going to, but we put these on, then we actually slid this little 3M piece down in there, it sticks to this plastic, so therefore the, pl the plastic over time doesn't stick to my over fender here, um, same on both sides of the car, um, you can look down in there, kind of hard to see, but you can see the bash bar, Paint it that black looks so much better um, than before. And here is the other side with the same weather strip. It's a little dirty. I need to clean it up. Um, I put two bolts underneath to hold that up. So that looks pretty good. The other day we ordered the canards that sit here one here, one here, and one there on both sides and those should be coming from Gretty very soon same on the side three side three of them by the way canards um, they should be coming from Gretty they're all fiberglass as well as these are fiberglass um, eventually we're gonna get a side skirt underneath of here uh, and run it from underneath this guy here well and but underneath this but over top of this underneath comes all the way down underneath comes out Probably about here and then we'll do a front lip um, the other day we did receive a package from a local 86 guy from Facebook and we have received a engine uh, intake system for this car so that'll be the next video we uh, do on the channel um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I think these things came out great honestly it just need a little bit cleaned up, that's all. Think about actually doing some carbon fiber skinning on these. Um, I think they would look pretty sick. Carbon fiber, even though they get really dirty and rock chips and all. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.